the book of Deuteronomy. These be the words of Moses, spake unto all the peoples of Israel. Seriously, Looney Tunes, you did write this book, correct? Why are you opening by referencing yourself in the third person? Hey, shut up, Satan. It came to pass in the 40th year, 11th month, first day, that Moses spake to the people and told them all what Lord Yahweh commanded. After we slayed that King Sihon guy, remember, and Og the giant, Moses, the mostest, holiest, and humblest of Lord Yahweh's prophets, gave the people the law, and Lord Yahweh spake to us in Horeb, on that one mountain. Behold, you peoples, I, Lord Yahweh, have set this land before you, where people are already living. The Canaanites, and Amorites, and Giants, that somehow survived my flood, yada yada. But they don't worship me, and who cares about them? I have made you peoples number more than the stars in the sky. Somehow, I forgot how many stars I made, but meh, I know it was a lot. Meh, don't worry about it, G-Man, that's just a metaphor, or some form of beautiful Hebrew poetry or something. It's just one of those things. Surely, ancient people who wrote this stuff didn't mean that literally, just because they couldn't actually know how many stars there were in the sky, but you definitely should, and if you truly divinely inspired them in your holy book, couldn't you at least clue them in? Hey, Satan, I wrote Deuteronomy. Quit spreading lies, and Lord Yahweh told me how many stars there were in the sky and we have more squalling brats than there are stars in the sky. And that's what Lord Yahweh's book says. And I, Moses, told the peoples that it was just too much work for me to solve all their stupid petty problems by myself, and I appointed chiefs to rule over those guys, over thousands and hundreds and fifties and tens of those peoples, so you peoples can judge righteously amongst you, even amongst the foreigners amongst you. And Lord Yahweh said, Behold, I, Lord Yahweh, have given you this land. Go and possess it. So we sent spies out. No spies spied on the land that Lord Yahweh was going to give us. And they brought back secret spy reports. Twelve spies. And they brought back fruit and stuff. And said the land that Lord Yahweh was giving us was good. But you stupid people grumble because of some of those spy reports. And they came back and said there were giants and stuff, and walled cities, and it was going to be a lot of work to conquer all those peoples. So I, Moses, the mostest, holiest, and humblest of Lord Yahweh's prophets, told the peoples, what did you guys have to be afraid of? Lord Yahweh was fighting for you. Lord Yahweh fought for you in Egypt and did all those miracles and wonders and stuff that you guys always seem to forget all the time. Stupid peoples! Lord Yahweh treats you like a son! G-Man treats the Israelites like he treats Jesus? That explains a lot. Lord Yahweh eats you people as a cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night, and he shows you guys where to camp. But you stupid people grumble all the time against him, and you make Lord Yahweh angry. No one from this evil generation will see the promised land that I promised you guys, except for Joshua and Caleb, because they were the spies that gave good reports. Oh yeah, Moses, you don't get to enter the promised land either, because remember, you hit that rock instead of talking to it. Remember that? Lord Yahweh, don't say that in front of your peoples. Yeah, G-Man, don't make Looney Tunes cry again. Shut up, Satan. So some of the peoples admitted that they were nothing more than icky gross sinners, and they went to fight for Lord Yahweh. But Lord Yahweh told me to tell them not to fight. But once again, stupid peoples didn't listen, and those Amorites in the hill country kicked those people's butts. Stupid peoples! And the peoples cried out to Lord Yahweh, but omnipresent Lord Yahweh was somewhere else and wouldn't hear their stupid prayers. Then Lord Yahweh told me that we were about to pass through the land of some peoples of Esau, but we should not go to war with the peoples of Esau, because Lord Yahweh wasn't going to give us the land of the peoples of Esau. Yeah, I mean, didn't Esau already suffer enough what with giving up his birthright for a bowl of soup back in Genesis and whatnot? Oh, the humanity, minions. Hey, why don't you tell all the people about your new Twitter account? 
Hey, you peoples. So I just discovered this tweeter thingy where all these devoted followers of Lord Jawa and Christian peoples post inspirational Christian quotes and hate on gay peoples and atheists and stuff. So I made an account called Lord Jawa Told Me where I get to tell all you guys exactly what Lord Jawa tells me. I'm already getting favorited by some of the most dedicated people who follow the one true religion of Lord Yahweh. Yeah, go follow Looney Tunes for a good laugh. We'd also like to thank all of our friends on Patreon. For 50 cents a month, that's six bucks a year, you can get Satan and Moses a cup of coffee. Seriously, minions, Satan needs his caffeine to deal with all these Looney Tunes over here every day. Hey, Satan, I'm gonna go tweet her about that. Satan is icky and gross and a big meanie.